Go ahead. Rama's early years were spent learning the skills he would need to conquer the evil of demon Ravana. He studied the holy scriptures and learned to use magical weapons. When he was a young man, he married a beautiful princess named Sita. Rama's father was so pleased with his son that he decided it was time for the young man to take over the throne. I do not want Rama to wait until I die to be your king. He is ready to rule now. I shall make immediate arrangements for his crown and ceremony. King Dasharatha called his ministers together and announced that his eldest son would become king immediately. The king then informed his wives of his decision. For Queen Keiki, King Dasharatha's favorite wife, had already been told of the king's intention by her maid. The maid, who was a vicious woman, suggested that Rama would drive the queen and her son, Barda, from the palace. When he became king, Queen Keiki was frightened and jealous, she asked to see him. Yes, you asked to see me and heard the wonderful news. Rama should become king at once. He'll make a fine ruler. But what is the matter? He it appears as if, as if he would be crying. My husband, remember many years ago when you were wounded in battle? You were dying, and I helped you to escape. I then took care of you until you were well. At that time, you promised me that you would grant me two wishes. I would like you to fulfill that promise. Of course, a king must always keep his word. What is it you want? First, I want you to make my son Bartha king instead of Rama. For my second wish, I want you to send Rama to the forest for 14 years. The king looked stunned. He could not understand why King Keiki would always love Rama would ask for him. He argued with him. I grant what you ask, I will never see Rama again. What terrible past deeds has Rama or I done for this to have been occurred? When the queen refused to reconsider, the grief stricken king asked Rama and other members of the family to come to the My dear son Rama, I have something terrible to tell you. I must send you. I cannot speak. I see you must explain. The king has changed his mind. He will appoint my son, Bharata, king and king. You will be sent into the forest for 14 years. I don't understand. How did I offend my father? Your father is honoring an old promise. A good king realizes it is his duty to keep his word no matter how painful. It's best if you leave at once. Of course. I will do as my father orders. Sita, my beloved wife, I shall miss you terribly. But we will be together someday. floor and only eat fruit and plant roots. I don't care. Life is nothing without you. If you are so determined, you may come. Lakshamana, my brother, I shall miss you, but 14 years will pass quickly. Bartha is a good man. He will rule well. My brother, allow me to come too. I will protect you with the sun. I welcome your company, Lakshamana. <laughs> and now, it's time for me to say goodbye to you, dear mother. I cannot bear to you son's duty to obey his father. I can do nothing else. Then let me also come with you. The separation of one child is a terrible thing. Father needs you. He will die if you leave. Your place is here. Yes, that is true. That's why I need And so, Rama, Rama, and Sita left the palace and began their 14 years of exile. Dun, dun, dun.